Hello everyone, DustBunnyVG here from Slackers Undercover, and welcome back to Pocket Rogues. Now, you may be wondering, like, hey, DustBunny, what's with all the progress? Surely you didn't do all this off-screen? I didn't. Uh, the Plague Monster, aka the little one in the house, uh, everyone's been sick. Everyone just got sick overnight, and we've been fighting for a couple days. Uh, yeah, I did a few episodes, was about to put them out, and realized there was no audio. Uh, apparently, at some point, I had, when I turned to cough, I had jerked the audio out of the cord, and despite having tested before, didn't have anything in the end, so tossed those suckers out, which is unfortunate, because some of them were pretty good. Like, got to try... We tried out the Necromancer, we tried out the Sorcerer, did pretty well with the Archer, in fact the Archer was crazy, but yeah, what can you say, stuff happens. Yeah, the Sorcerer, <laughs> Archer went up quite a few levels in one run, yeah, but let's start with the war, let's, let's just start over from scratch where we were last time, we're gonna start off with the Wizard again. If this fell, falls through, we'll hang out with the Necromancer, we'll go back to the Archer, we'll go to the Hunter. Well, we'll make our rounds again. How are you guys doing? How's everyone today? Ooh, my head's a little fuzzy still. Luckily, like a little bit of coffee, a little bit of water. We're good to go. Let's get to it. I've been running the catacombs over here just because it, it seems to start fairly straightforward and levels up with you. Uh, some of these other areas seem to start much more challenging. I'm not sure if we have the levels that were required quite yet to handle some of this stuff, so we'll just hang out over here. What may be a repeat for me is new to you guys. Oh, did I actually just start Catacombs level 5? I mean, I've actually started... Oops. I may have dripped that slightly. So, learning from last time, so left click with the wizard is a nice little fireball. It has an AoE effect when you hit Middle Mouse is a flamethrower that does not seem to do that much damage, honestly. That could just be me. Right click burns my energy but gives me a shield that reduces quite a bit of damage. Of course, it, it, it drains my, my mana like a mother. Now, this over here confirmed, I, I, I knew it before, but it was counting down so it kind of threw me off a little bit, is the number of enemies in the room counter floor part. Also, looking at the stats and stuff, the fireball has a plus 50% damage against enemy, uh, against enemies, ha! 50% damage against animals traits, so it may, means we're amazing against anything from like rats to wolves to possibly werewolves. I think they may fall into the demon trait. Alright, what did we pick up here? We got a shirt of heavenly protection. Protection from humanoids increased by 20%. We also got a beginner's book, which is a little bit minus 5% MP. That's great. I approve wholeheartedly. Let's go. And not take any damn damage from Senor Shoots. Arrows a lot. Wow. Actually, I think the uh, Mr. Arrows. Oh my gosh, I'm so full of arrows. What is this madness? I actually don't know what that one is. That little stand there, that um... I know the red one gives you rage. Oh, poop. That looks like some sort of defense, maybe a cloak? We'll see, what do we got here? We got uh... Plus seven. Is this new? That did, it didn't compare last time, did it? They must have had an update. Oh, baby. You really have an update in that short of a time? Hmm. I approve. I approve. I like games that go through updates. Let's pop this. I don't know what it is, and I really wish I could see what my stats actually are. I, so it looks like some sort of regen. 
that's from the bread. Ooh, I don't have any healing. I need to run. Yeah. It's close. Not quite. I need to turn down my headset by in one sec. I was... Last couple days, mixed with being sick, has been a lot of Netflix. What can I say? If you get time in your hands, you gotta rest. Netflix. Now that I don't watch other creators and stuff on YouTube, I do. There's quite a few that I, I jump in on. And a couple associates that I like to watch their stuff. Girl Stimps has been streaming a lot of Red Dead Redemption lately, and I... Yeah, I'm actually really enjoying that game. Uh, I, unfortunately... If it ever comes out to PC, I'll guarantee I'll get it, but... As much as I love the idea of consoles, I don't like the idea of buying a console. I'm gonna say, I am cheap, 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 cheap. However, I just realized, um, so, in the first episode of this, I did not get a chance to really go through the details of, like, how I liked it, what I liked it, what, what I disliked about Pocket Rogues. Mainly because I was just enjoying it for the first time, and there was a lot of uh, a steep learning curve in, in picking up what you're doing and, and how to continue accordingly. This is my 10% plus 2%. Let's do the wooden stick for now and trash this one. There are. I, I like it. It's got the procedural generation to it. Procedural, procedural regeneration. That is uh, a vampire. Uh, procedural generation to it, so all the dungeons are different every time you walk in, so it's not the same old map, same old layout, same old creatures kind of thing. There seems to be quite a few classes and upgrades and things you can do in that forth. Um, honestly, I, I, I really enjoyed it. It's, it, as, as difficult as it is, which, missing out on the first time you, you pick up any character, I, I was, uh, dying fairly often. Rip original wizard. I. It's not. What's the word? It's not. It doesn't quite hold your hand. In situations when you get legendary or unusual creatures, they will rip into you like nobody's business. And there's no. Like, oh, this is a strong creature. You, you might want to be careful on this level. It's like, no, just welcome to your death. And I can appreciate that in the game, because I get tired of some games that coddle you like well you got to do this and do that and be careful they're gonna get deaf just go in classic old style rogue style that's a lot of styles i just said like i like i mentioned sick meds i'm gonna repeat myself a little i apologize it's it's a challenge and i i like it i'm gonna say i'm gonna definitely give this game a full run for its money Oh, ho, ho. Like I said, they don't pull their punches. Well, <laughs> oh, that was you really didn't live that much longer. Daily quest. This is new. The three creatures of the class humanoid reach the floor uh, of location crypt of emptiness and reach the third floor of catacombs. Alright, alright, alright. Well, <laughs> wizard dad, what can we improve here? Uh, base, level one base for gold, you can improve your guild, discover new opportunities and heroes. I feel like that's worthwhile, I mean, I, I have quite a few things unlocked around here, but does this mean I'll get even more opportunities? No, maybe next time? Maybe it just increases my gold gain right here. I can't tell you, but we'll see. So those are the those are the quests. Okay. Well, uh, complete all daily quests every day to increase the rewards. So this day one. So this I guess started today. Did start yesterday. But started today. All right. Let's do that then. We'll do some daily quests. Uh, let's jump over to the necromancer who, which again, missed out on. We do have a pet. Uh, luckily, it doesn't seem like the pet dies with you when you die, because I guess that would be kind of bupkis when you run every time. 
a little bit hard. So we got a golem here. Uh, he leveled him up a couple times in like HP and stuff. Uh, 64 HP, a little bit of damage, a little bit of attack speed, that kind of thing. Um, the necromancer has the ability to shoot a negative energy ball, causes medium damage, and has a chance of hitting an accidental negative effect. Uh, chance to slow, chance to poison, which is really fortunate actually when you get put against creatures of much higher levels because poison it can proc on hit and then just does a percent damage based on the HP of the enemy. Um, trying this out, I, I went into an area I probably shouldn't have with the, a low level creature, low level character, excuse me, and it was doing like 9 damage per tick of poison, which is fantastic. And my regular hits weren't doing nearly that much damage. Seal the dam, you, essentially you throw this down based on the level of it, it, th uh, it summons skeletons at a two second per random, uh, two second per point, and uh, it lasts for five seconds, so it seems to increase duration per level, and so the longer this stays out, the longer you have of creatures at your disposal, but as soon as that disappears, all the creatures also disappear. And then summon skeleton. This is this is fantastic. Uh, you can just summon skeletons. Right now, I think I have two skeletons, three skeletons. Yeah, two skeletons right now. Um, at higher levels, they get to be a little bit more fancy. I think one just is just a basic skeleton. The one has a sword. I don't know how far you can go with this. It's nice to have a little army following you, especially when you got a golem. And yeah, I just let the skeletons take the forefront, and I run in from behind. So let's actually do this. That way, we can have the full effect of everything. Um, what were the, we needed to do, what are the quests? Three humanoid creatures, check. Reach third floor of the location, Crypt of Imminus. And reach third floor of the location, Catacombs. Well, catacombs is the definite, because we're on like floor eight or something like that, so that could be easy to do. Uh, let's give the Crypt of Imminus Endless Dungeon a shot. I have not tried this one out yet, and I am actually very fearful for our lives. We're probably all gonna die. No, oh, just two basic skelet skeletons. I'm very fearful. What are these level? Oh, they're only level five. Okay. I know it's floor one, but you never know. You never know where and what I'm supposed to do. So is this? Does this? I I, I suppose this does have floors, but. I wonder what actually separates these as levels, like is it just the possibility of what types of layouts you can get, the the variety of creatures, traps, loot, I feel like a crypt would be very suited for anything necromancy, 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 for dead things, it'd be good for dead things. Quite a few dead things in here. Actually tearing these guys up. Wouldn't complain of a weapon dropped or something, you know? I'm just saying. Weapon, you know, maybe a little... What the actual... Was that a, was that a coffin over there? Second for that to activate. Not that it really matters. Oh, our little friend's dead. Nice. So, our goal just sticks with us? I'm a little confused on that front. Don't know why I started saying that front. I say it's a sickness. I pick up words sometimes and they just follow me around. Alright, equip this. That is basic hat, defense. View, lesser view. Nah, we're good on that. This is also focus and more trash. Quite a few healing potions. That's nice. Narrow, I want your mana, but I'm not gonna do it. Uh, for the record, uh, Amethyst is a Y, not an I right there, but I understand, I understand. They're, they're, they're translating, I believe, from Russian to English, so 
know. We're gonna, we're gonna be like a, a spelling patrol. However, I wonder. I, I need to check on their their uh, form to see if they have like a a bug slash uh, tiny reference updates. Because there's a couple spelling errors I've seen in this game. I, I wouldn't mind going through and be like, hey, this is this, this is that. I'm not trying to be that guy that's like, hey, I'm gonna fix it because you're dumb. No. Everyone. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? Kill them all! Oh my sweet Jiminy. Crickets. Run away, run away, run away. Hey, oh, later. What is that, Skeleton Reaper? Oh my gosh, are you stuck? <laughs> oh, I can't hit you, can I? Okay, I need to put a thing there. I need you guys to figure out how to get over there. Are you serious? Smarter than you look. Oh gosh. Wow, they have some crazy knockback on them, don't they? I'm not sure if I want to get in there. Uh, okay, well. Can now. That was a sneaky little spot that I didn't want to be a part of, because I could imagine if my minion broke and all of a sudden, oh, is it an iron helmet? Ooh, I haven't seen one of those yet. Yeah, getting, getting trapped in a place full of traps with a guy with knockback and stuff does not seem like my idea of a fun time. Walk over this way just because, oh, go on, please don't die. I think you only get resurrected when I find a camp. All right, um, 15, nice. Wow, you lose some, lose some stuff, but it's not a special, hey, you may drop it. Grim Grimoire of the Hermit. Increases the max HP of summon creatures by 10%. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I, I don't like the salvage thing, like being up here, that's just a little, what is it called, um, little gripe, and I kind of wish that I could right click on an item and equip it, or use it or whatever, that would just be good for quality of life quickness, but I understand, they're doing upgrades and updates to this game slowly, so at least they're doing updates and upgrades, you know, some games come out and the developer's like, yeah, it's good, no, no, work on it, please. There's so many things you can improve. Gets out of here alive. We're all just slowly gathering stuff to use that our children can use. Oh, that's kind of a dark thought, right? Oh wait, no, wait, wait, wait. You need to equip that. Oh. Yeah, like as soon as you walk into an endless dungeon, you are confirming the fact that I am going to die here, and there's nothing I can do about it. Hopefully, someday in the future, they'll come in and receive my, retrieve my corpse and all of my belongings and use it to improve my descendants' time <laughs> doing the same thing, I guess. Very, uh, what's the word, uh, rogue legacy in that sense. That was a game I had fun with, too. I, I, it was the first, 
first game I ever had that the progression wasn't based on your actual progression, it was based on sending in relatives after the fact. I kinda like that idea, because it, it means that you yourself, granted you are working, but it's not one of those games that, uh, for instance, if I were to level up right now, and I were to improve my stats, improve my skills, potentially on an endless dungeon, you could go a really far away because you are leveling up with the dungeon. However, that's not the case. You're leveling up, but not in the same regard that propel you forward. In a way, it's kind of like artificial uh, unscaling of difficulty because at that point, you're getting your, your health scaled experience bonuses the ability to actually get stronger in the dungeon it's not realistically how that works like realistically you would have the money and the means that you could invest into yourself through training you wouldn't just be like going through a dungeon killer room and be like i'm so much stronger now it may be a little bit more like more than likely more tired too pop this because it's absolutely pointless Quest exploration is done. Or after I have to like, like, claim it. I'll check in a second after. Home fry over here is defeated. That experience gain. Holy moly! Is that just my golem fighting? Golem, you're a boss. Oh, I can't actually see their HP. Oh. Okay, now I understand what this does. I love it. Thank you. Not for nothing, I feel like that, uh, Ether Gaming, that, um, that should be a little bit explained to you. At least with some of the tabs and stuff, too, because that is invaluable right there, because as you see, my companions just left me. Also shows their level, which is good. I mean, I know their level is based off of the skill, but you never know if you get an item or something that boosts. Skill level. Maybe it'll affect that too. Cave Spooter. So, four new levels. That's exciting. We can do some major upgrades for that. Oh my gosh, those. Oh, they're getting. They're getting wrecked. Okay, wow, we already ran out of room. Um. Destroy, continue, destroy, destroy all plates, your coins, or they look like plates, let's be honest. They might be plates. Special about you? Nope. Alright, move chest. Lost another one. Wait, did I say additional? Oh, additional HP. That was from the um, the item I have. Yeah, so they're getting that buff as soon as they get spawned in. That's cool. Don't know what the paladin achievement is that I just got. I assume it's from maybe killing X amount of mobs or something. One to three crit two. I don't actually have a weapon equipped. Yes, please. Ooh. So we lose defense, we lose visibility, but we gain extra defense from demons. I, I don't know what we're fighting right now. He's categorized as a demon. But I'll hang on to it. Because if it is... Well, I'm trying to think. 20% uh, seven defense. I wish I knew exactly what these numbers actually entailed. How much defense does... How much damage mitigation does defense actually do? Oh, 
got a big green guy. Oh, he's gonna hurt. Oh, he's gonna hurt so bad. Oh, he. <laughs> What's the point? I need a poison on you. I need a poison on you. And my golem buddy, who was uh, far more survivable than anything else I had. Are you, are you serious? Wow, we, we really gotta upgrade our um, our necromancer cathedral because I, I gotta upgrade these skeletons. That is rough. I think we need 3,000 for the next cathedral upgrade, so <laughs> let's get our butsing gear for that. I think we can pull 3,000. <clears throat> Quick double, triple, triple check. Everything's still working. Yeah, I know. After, after, after yesterday, I, like, I, when I say I, I played this a lot and then I had to throw it all out, I, I mean it. Like, we're, we're talking like four hours. It was fun, if I'm wrong, but. Uh, not much to show for it, unfortunately. Oh, my word. Little buddies, if you could do some work, I'd appreciate it. Oh, run away. It doesn't take long to hit that point of falling behind the curve as far as the enemies and stuff around you. What do we get? Increase the damage of so increase the damage of summoning creatures and reflects part of the damage received in close combat. See, question. Does thorns affect my creatures? Because if so, this is amazing. I really hope it is. Because even if it isn't, it's it's still amazing, but Okay, we're I'm gonna hang on to this. There's a lot of a lot of Healy things. Let's use a couple of the small ones just to top off. We don't really need too big of Healy things because, as you can tell, our 17 HP, we are very, very weak. Floor cleared. Fantastic. Alright, I, I kind of foresee next floor being our death. All we had to do was get to floor three. That was one of our challenges. Nice level up before we go. Regardless, that's nice. I think we got it. I think we maybe not the floor, but darn it. We can at least clear out, get some more experience. What the butts are you? Skeleton, more skeleton hanging vans. No, 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 I need three, I need 3,000 gold. Also, I need to get rid of whatever that is, so I can pick this up. Because loot, money, such. Cancel, that's this with, uh... <clears throat> to begin the point of possibly dying, let's think through the things that are important to us right now. That's worth 200 coins if we sell it, meaning if we die with it. It's worth some money as well, 40 coins. 50 coins, we'll just pop some of the non-less worthwhile things and I'll start hanging on to stuff. Really low level 
level skeletons though. Why, why are you guys here? Actually impressed. 40 coins, um... How do you throw this at an enemy though? I mean, if I click use. So I have to go into my inventory to use it? That seems awkward. Can't imagine that was the way it was intended. <clears throat> telescope, what's the default telescope price again? 80 coins, all right, we'll hang on to a telescope for now. over there and possibly some really good stuff. Look, 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 guy, sir. Could we not? We got, that's the 50 coin map. For 35 coins, we'll hang on to an amethyst. Frog leg? Why is the frog leg worth so much? Crazy. All of you are crazy. Oh gosh, they just instantly... They can't get away! Ghost it is. Let's see. Destroy some. I don't like trying destroying some of these good valuable things, but uh, so many things I can pick up here that are actually worth fairly good money. Other than wait, I'm actually picking it up. Pick it up. I have the space. Go in my inventory. Three left. Be hard. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I mean, I want to just spend a little bit more uh, potion potions here. Oh, those are the, those are the big ones I could have just gotten if I wanted. Two. What did I pick up? Something of the priest? Wood Helm of Priest, or of Life Character Companions receive a small bonus. Okay, this is actually fantastic because I wanted to try this after the very first episode. If I pick this up again on Necromancer, does it heal my minions? If it heals my minions, it is sorely worth it. Because that means, well, one, for, uh, for instance, if my uh, golem friend is injured. Oh, it does. It heals my minions. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. I was a little bit worried. Oh, it also does an arrow showing me to the exit. That that's a nice improvement. I thank you, sir. That is nice. Oh, crud and a half. Get ambushed. Nice. 
is ambush destroyed. Cheese and some other random assorted things there. That's 100 gold. 25 gold for that. Use that for now. Get rid of the wood helmet. Cheese and a tel cheese and a telescope. Don't worry, we got cheese and a telescope. These are all just basic uh, white stuff. Uh, yeah, just destroy all. We'll we will get that stuff back. I'm not worried. Also, double stack on the amethyst. That's nice. Oh my gosh, what is with these just piles of stuff? So this was the aura of lives. That means if a uh, chest piece, stone solid, three percent increased speed, uh, same defense. So better plus it has the reduce the chance of stun with a small chance to stun the attacker on it so that's fantastic get rid of this get rid of that these don't stack which is un I guess really unfortunate jeez all right seems we're good to go plus we got yeah yay I finished it I guess we couldn't leave the ambush I don't think can you? I need, I need compadres. Oh boy. Oh no. Okay, uh, I appear to have an issue here. Oh, I appear to have many issues here. Jeez. I have no mana. Uh, oh! Life is gone. And we got seven skill points in the Necromancer, a whole lot of coins. A whole, whole lot of coins and six gems. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, we do have to get it at the end here. Oh, nice. Okay, so, in order to improve our necromancer abilities, we need to secret cathe secret cathedral. Th oh, I thought it was 3,000. Wow, we have a lot of gold now. 1,500. Yes. Screw it. Let's go full, full more on that. We have level three secret... Th 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 secret... I can't talk. You know what I mean. That thing. Secret cathedral. Whole lot of skill points we can unlock. What else can we do? Now we can, we can summon zombies. Summon a zombie, extremely inconclusive and extremely durable melee fighters capable of withstanding a lot of strikes. And more of them. And not, requ and not required. Or skeleton. That's where that came out. Sorry. Right. Skeleton archer, a dangerous long range fighter. So we go from all around. fighter of craziness. Now, I, I only learned last episode, which unfortunately isn't the episode that you guys saw, because it doesn't exist anymore, that we can actually unlock any of these. See, I thought we had to like unlock the ability to use some of these. We actually just spend points and unlock them, and then use them instead. Um, so, instead of the summoning the seal the dam, summoning the skeleton stuff, we can have seal of death, which can be killed in the area of the seal, returns to the form of his shadow, and fights on the side of the necromancer, but does not follow him. Defending the area in which he died, shadows lose their health every second, and their life and time depends on the skill level. Makes me wonder again if the aura can maybe mitigate that. Seal of, uh, Scarlet Seal, everyone killed in this area, the enemy restores to the necromancer's allies and necromancer himself, part of the health, it depends on the maximum health of the victim, granted. Uh, and the skeleton archer. I don't know. See, zombies. I feel like it says, and more of them are, it's not supposed to be, and it's supposed to be, and more of them are not required. So maybe it's just the one zombie, or multiple, uh, or a couple zombies. Maybe less zombies than overall. I kind of want to try out the skeleton archer, though, because their AI for shooting stuff 
at least fight against other archers, they're pretty good, honestly. Like, they hit pretty hard, but let's see real quick on the other skills before we start submitting our points. So we're using this right now. It's still level 1. I haven't upgraded it all, which is still pretty strong, honestly. Um, Cursed Soul, the Corrupted Essence, escaping from the Necromancer Staff and pursuing immediate target. So it sounds like a... Like a... Okay, I'm getting ready to sh throw my phone out the window. I disconnected Facebook from my phone, but for some reason, it doesn't care and continues to let me know every time somebody does something somewhere Facebook, and trust me, when you have your uh, channel Facebook page, that is getting on my nerves. Alright, um, I'm just gonna move this over here. Phone, I'm throwing you over here. Out of my way. I don't want to hear from you. Hope no one has an emergency. So this sounds like a, a home in attack skill. Further, that's a stream of the otherworldly flame that burns the souls of the victims. Ooh, that sounds like the pendant stare from Ghost Rider. If the necromancer is wounded, his health will be slightly restored for every tick of damage, and the damage will be higher. Dead sounds cool, actually. I think I may stick with. Crypt is that essence. I wonder how good the tracking is on this. I, I'm gonna pick this up just to see. I mean, I'm using level one of this anyways. Let's try Cursed Soul. See if the track is good on that. Um, Still the damned. I like the idea of this one. Anything killed in the immediate area becomes another enemy, essentially. Um, or a shadow its former self. I don't know. It says shadows are the health every second and their life depends on the skill level. But I wonder if their damage output depends sorely on the type of enemy that dies, because that means if we manage to take down something really strong in an a AoE with this, they'll become a really strong enemy that can then help us out. So, for example, in the last death that we had, we did manage to kill one or two creatures. If we had a seal of death down, we might have gotten allies enough to actually help us defeat that brood and come out victorious. Uh, and then the skeleton archer, I feel like as far as... HP go, Skeleton Archer is probably the best option. Because these guys, their HP sucks. I, I don't know about the zombie, but I know the skeleton gets just destroyed pretty instantly most of the time. If these guys are staying away from the battle, then even if they're not doing nearly the damage of these two, they're going to live a lot longer. And living means their damage is ex exponentially stronger. So let's, let's level those dudes up. In fact, Let's put some more points. How many points I got? I got enough for one more point on them. A couple more points. Nice. So yeah, Secret Cathedral. I gotta level this up a lot. Uh, so it's a single skeletal archer? Skeletal archer? Yeah, so single skeletal archer. We'll see uh, exactly how well they fare. Probably next time, actually. What's the next thing? That's it, yeah. We'll see how strong all of our this is next time. I'm Dustin Avenger. This is Pocket Rogues. I am thoroughly enjoying this game so far. And despite some recording snafus... Uh, sorry. That was a good time, bad time for a stretch. Bad time for you guys, good time for me. Oh, that felt nice. Yeah, I'm going to end up playing a lot more of this game. Definitely check it out. As always, the information is in the description below. I believe the price of it right now is 10% off, so it's like $5.30, $5.35, something like that, in the Steam store. If you like challenge and you like simplicity, but being able to evolve your characters and customize it and just like dungeon running, it's fun. I mean, it, it's got it's got some time, some, some enjoyment to it. Anyway, I'm Dust Bunny. This is Slackers in the Cover. This is Pocket Rogues. We will see you guys later. Bye, Underground. Peace.